Welcome, Achievers, to a very different-looking episode of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Now, this is going to be, I want to say first, a different podcast. As, as you can see, everything's very different around me, right? Different view of me, different mic. I have an overall different setup. So, at one, I wanted to do a test episode, pretty much. I wanted to fully render, put it live. See how I liked it. See if I liked how everything was loud. I've tested as much as I think I possibly can without actually straight up just doing an episode. So I wanted to do that. I'm going to make a straight up episode for you today. And we're going to have a good time. Now, I wanted to talk just lightly of Midnight Suns. Marvel's Midnight Suns. I've actually been playing it. I want to do a small impressions video about it as I feel like not many people are talking about it. So I wanted to at least give my thoughts on the game. And as well as test out all my new gadgets. New Elgato mic seems very nice. Took me a while to even set this thing up. Um, you can't just plug it in and, and just start using it, but you know, all the doodads gotta equalize and you gotta do these attack envelopes and all these things that I learned. So let's see how all this goes. But first, thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Easy Shoes Game Podcast. Thank you for hanging out. It's no news this week, of course, because everything's still on holiday break. It's the 29th as I'm recording this right now. And, you know, the industry just takes a break, just like everyone does. Not, not much happens between now and really, I want to say, January 3rd to the 5th. Usually until at least New Year's. Nothing really happens or is said or is mentioned too much. So I figured, hey, what better time to... Shoot the shit, for lack of a better word. On to my thoughts on Marvel Midnight Suns. Marvel Midnight Suns, a game that I have been very weary on since it released. Or since really it's been announced. I remember being announced and I was like, that's very cool. Very obscure comic series slash one shot isk thing. It doesn't really get delved into too much. Most people probably don't even know what it is. Most people probably don't even know it was not Midnight Sun. It was Sun. S-O-N. Not S-U-N. And it got me excited. I, I was like, uh, I was like, okay, this looks like hopefully maybe some sort of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I remember seeing a bunch of people all at once. I was like, okay, maybe this like team fighting. And then, of course, you realize Fire's a Fire Axis is making it. And I'm like, hmm, so this might be something closer to maybe XCOM, some sort of strategy game. And lo and behold, that's exactly what it came out to be. It's card-based, which is even more surprising, and turn-based. And that's when my anticipation of the game jumped off a roof. Jumped off a roof. I... I was immediately turned off. I was like, okay, well, I'm good. Uh, I I uh, am saddened that I won't be playing the game, but it, I'm sure someone will like it, so it's not a total loss. But a little game came out called Slay the Spire. I don't know if you listening at home have played this game, but if you have, it's a very good, very good roguelike card-based game. And turn-based. And... Originally, I wasn't going to play that, but one of my friends got me onto it, Emmett Watkins Jr. over at Video Games Utopia. He was telling me about the game. And that got me really interested, so I was like, all right, let me go look at it. And I did. Played it, loved it, and then immediately, I was like, okay, well, I do enjoy this type of game. Oh, you can see my puppy from the corner there. So I do enjoy this type of game. So now that did open my mind up to maybe liking this game more and hearing, hearing more about it, it's... I did get a little higher on the game. So now we fast forward to day of release. I didn't play it day one because there was too many games. I No offense to them. Maybe they made it well. I don't actually know if we have an idea of how it sold. Marvel Midnight Suns. I don't think it sold very well. Um, or at least I assume it didn't sell to internal assumptions i would assume but we'll see let's see marvel midnight suns sales numbers i'm assuming we don't have too much because i have not heard any of them yeah not much up here that i'm quickly seeing 
uh, we'll have to wait probably for a financial call for, for us to really know how it's sold. But since we don't know how it sold, probably wasn't insane from uh, my point of view. Because because we would probably have heard about it if it did sell well. So it might have sold fine. You know, who knows? Let's check in their Twitter real quick to see if they ever did. Boom, boom. No, they only have accolades. They have like a picture of like, oh, we got a bunch of good scores, but I think we should move on. Going back to the overall idea, I get to the game, I start playing it. It's actually got this about a week and a half ago. I'm still early in it as I've just been too busy to play the game, you know, holidays and things. And I'm playing the game and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Now, I will say they are clearly clearly trying to do a persona like experience with most of this game they it's very slow to start they are very meticulous in detailing you the game very slow like here is one mechanic here is one mechanic sometimes it'll be like all right here's two mechanics here's another mechanic you know oh here's the environmental hazards you can use here's these weapons this is what this means this is what that means and i have to give it to them i do know how everything works in the game they are very clear with everything they're very uh forthright with all the information in the game i think the tutorial is really good albeit it is very long i do wish we had a scalable tutorial and actually I think I can summarize a lot of what I think about this game in a full-on sentence. Sorry, I'm being blinded by it right now because of my Google Doc sheet is open. But I can, I think I could sum up my overall thoughts, even this early into the game, about, I want to say, eight hours, maybe, into the game. I want to say. Probably a little more. In a very, apparently very long game. Apparently this is 60 to 100, depending on how you play the game, so very wide spectrum but back to my overall point getting uh the lack of options is is i think what i can fully break down every problem that i have with the game tutorial is very long all right well why isn't there an option for me to streamline the tutorial depending on how familiar i am with these type of games right so there is a difficulty let's not get that mixed up but there isn't anything you can customize via the tutorial system so like you're you are just being slowly taught this entire system they teach you like the friendship which is literally almost exactly like persona they have a little social media thing that you can read on and you they have messages you can get and etc there's so many things that are like wow yeah so you definitely you definitely wanted a Persona, Mass Effect. I mean, really, Marvel Ultimate Alliance from back in 2009, 7? Probably 7. I don't remember. Because um, even that had... In between missions, you go around, you talk to people. They had side missions inside the thing. This does too, uh, with like friendship meters and how you can influence people's friendship. And you can lose, you can gain. There's a dark and light side parts of the game this is so much and i won't give too too much away in terms of story i just want to explain the mechanical side of things but there's just so much that they they do describe to you but i feel like i'm almost to the point where it will just let me play the video game i am kind of there already but i still am finding new things about the game and i just wish i got there faster i feel like it's been so slow um to my point of like things like God of War and stuff like that, where I'm like, okay, well, God of War has a little beginning part, and then you're just in the game and you're playing it and you get to fight, and there's really no hold hand, hand holding. You're just in the game, which is really nice. I actually like that a lot about the game. Sorry about that, Cheers. Puppy made a little accident, so I had to clean that up and take her outside. Back to my overall point. It's pretty much detailing issues with how long it's taken me to play the game. At least I am now in a point where I'm playing the game. I am interested in continuing to play until it lets me really dig deep. And I do feel like this is going to be a very good game for when I am finally leveled up. I have a lot of cards and things of this nature. I'm very excited for that. But 
I will say, if you're the type of person that when you sit down to play a game, maybe you don't have a lot of time, maybe this is just how you like games. When you sit down, you go to play a game, you want to play a game, I feel like this game just takes way too long to begin. Way too long to begin. Unless the idea of hanging out with a bunch of some of your favorite heroes and leveling up their friendships and having cool combos with them. Having a kind of... Hmm. Having a very interesting character in The Hunter where I actually didn't think I'd care at all about this character, which is the character you are and you make. Their create character, by the way, pretty bad. Um, I think it just depends on, I guess, the person, but... I went to make me, and I was like, oh, I don't look anything like these people. So I just made, like, an Elseworlds version of myself um, in female form. Which is, m the female, way, way better customization. Way better. Anyways. I will say, if you're looking for an immediate gameplay experience, this is probably just not the one. I will say so far it has been a pretty good experience in form of technicalities. It is a very uh, well polished game, aside from one the very specific point where my my character got hit out of bounds and then the care it was Ghost Rider. Then the character sunk in the world, but nothing bad happened. They were just under the world the whole time. Eventually they came out, but that was weird. But aside from that, that's really it. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I wanted to just give my first impressions one to just give impressions out there because I feel like there isn't that much talking about. There's a couple of reviews out there, but I wanted to f give a point of view from me. As you know me, I'm a long time Marvel fan and I'm enjoying it. I've been reading these comics since I was a kid, so I like seeing a lot of these people. I mean, when's the we haven't seen like Blade or Ghost Rider in something since... I mean, Ultimate Alliance won. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure we haven't like obscure characters where you you'll never really see them in the forefront, but you finally get to see them. So there's things like that. It's cool. And if you're in love with like Robbie Ray's, like the new new Ghost Rider, I mean, this, I mean, are you really gonna get another game with him in this? Probably not. So you probably just want to play this. Uh, a similar feeling I actually have Gotham Knights. I love the Bat Family. I love the four people that they picked to have like you as play as. And I love like the chemistry and all those things. So w some of that, and maybe you'll see in how I place the game in my rankings later this year. Or later next year, technically. But when is the next time I'm going to get a game with a red hood in it? When's the next time I'm going to get a game with Batgirl? With... Uh, Tim Drake, where I, I could play as him. Nightwing, Dick, uh, Dick Grayson, how I play. Like, when's the next time I'm going to be able to play as them? So it almost kind of boosted my enjoyment of the game a little bit, just because it's like, first off, no one ever puts them in these games. Second, I get a whole game just about them. And then third, I better enjoy it while I got it, because this is probably not going to happen, and especially with uh, Gotham Knights, because it did not perform well. Uh, it is heavily probably not gonna happen again, especially given how the game was made good lord it was made very well um but yeah i'm i'm hoping this game doesn't get repetitive but there's so many heroes i feel like it won't um i don't know the full count but i mean you uh i have the actual little like featurette thing at the bottom here uh right underneath me um, and that's a lot of people, so maybe that'll keep it fresh. I know if eventually I'm going to get Cap and Wolverine. I'm excited to see them. Um, it is cool hearing people, like, talk about stuff right now. I have a side quest that's happening while I'm playing the game where, like, someone wants to make a surprise party for another character, and, like, people are planning and stuff, which, that's kind of fun, because you get, like, interactions with other people through that. So that's cool. Um... I'm curious if that's a through line for the rest of the game or if this is just a one time thing. I don't know how many. I don't know if like these are time gated things or these will always happen or are they random events? Not sure, but I assume I will know by the time I get further into this game. And also one good thing is this is a deep game, very long game. 
and I have a long time until something really of consequence comes out, right? Dead Space, I think, is like the game I'm excited for. That's not until the end of January, so I have plenty of time. Plenty of time to relax, play these games, play some other games, read, watch TV and movies, which I've been doing a lot of recently, so I can't complain. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little impressions video slash test that I have done. Um, this was meant to be a light recording, so I will be back very soon for another video idea I have, and also um, expect a big celebration very soon, very soon, within the next couple uh, week week and a half ish, uh, with a couple of my dearest friends on the internet. So thank you so much for coming to this test. And also, I hope you check out Marvel Midnight Suns if this is something you're interested to, or I at least gave you some information to give you a decision on yay or nay. But until the next time, remember, go achieve.